Hello and welcome back to another edition of Siramangalo Stories. Uh, this week we have another um, meditator joining us. Her name is Kathy. Welcome, Kathy. Hi. Sati, everyone. Lovely Sati. to be here. Sati. Wonderful. And this week's question is, and of course, hi, Austin and Edit. Thank you again for joining me. Um, this week's question is, why, um, why is the Meditation Center project important to you? What does it mean to you? And so I take it to Austin. Tell me, Austin, why is this Meditation Center project important? Yeah, um, for me, actually, um, the center project is like, building uh, an infrastructure that would help with um with i would say like mental exercise and um mental training um so basically you know for our physical well-being we do a lot of stuff including eating food and sleeping and it's obvious that if you don't nourish the body then you know you're gonna suffer that's that's obvious but um, when uh, things happen in life, which are maybe stressful, etc., uh, oftentimes we, you know, deal with it as per our maturity, as per our experiences, and as per the severity of the situation. Uh, the idea that one can train to um, to have reactions which are well well which are better um than the ones that we are used to having which is maybe you know stress anger uh maybe reacting poorly which even we acknowledge later on in the situation that it was you know a, a, well maybe not a, the best of reactions uh the idea that one can train and uh improves improve uh, one's reactions and one's stress to different circumstances, um, be that loss of, you know, someone that you love, or it could be even small things like, you know, uh, road rage or something that ordinarily makes one angry. Uh, so the idea that you could have mental strength um, and, and, and train for that uh, and have um, an infrastructure that can uh, help you in that in that goal which is not really a very common thing that one sees in in the world because mostly we you know train physically and and not so much mentally mm -hmm. uh, so this center for me is like setting up that kind of an infrastructure that helps you uh, train the mind and uh, uh, helps you better your reactions uh, in life and therefore helps you better uh, better uh, become a better person and actually you know, in effect, helps the whole world become a better world. So uh, that's the macro view, but uh, essentially it helps each each person themselves. Austin, I, you, what you shared really resonated with me because uh, in the world, I, um, I work as a trainer in a gym and I have my own facility, my own, you know, like you, like you called it, uh, um, you know, a place where people go to work out. And this meditation center is like a gym, but it's for mental development and training. So it's a place to do that. I love that. That's amazing. It's uh, definitely worth, um, you don't see very often, right? You see lots of gyms yeah. everywhere. Uh, they're across the street from one another sometimes, but you don't see meditation centers. You see yoga centers, you see Pilates centers, but you don't see a lot of meditation centers. And I think, um, I think you're right. I think there's something, something that's necessary about having a center. Thank you and for also sharing. Also, the idea yeah. that um, that uh, I mean, generally we 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 would go for this only when you know it's very stressful or a, a life changing event happens and that and like mm -hmm. when stress actually hits you. But the idea that you can normally train for it uh, that's a very alien concept. But I think that has a lot of uh, benefit and impact because that can actually help you in ordinary situations and in difficult situations. So setting up this center is 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 very beneficial for everyone yes i want to tag on along with that as well because i, I when I, you know i help a lot of clients um with their emotions as well and when they're in a 
an episode or when they're at, in a break, they were having a breakdown moment, um, you know, yes, uh, learning how to practice meditation is going to help them calm their mind and, 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 and give them some relief from that suffering. But I always then tell them, I said, well, once you, you, don't, you don't stop meditating, you have to continue meditating, especially even, even when things are great in your life, because you don't prepare for war during the war, you prepare for it before the war, so you're prepared for it. So meditation outside of, uh, you know, go, whether going to a center because you are hitting rock bottom and you really need some help, or whether you're going there just to, um, truly take the opportunity to develop and 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 develop that inner strength um, so that you're prepared no matter what the circumstance is I think um, sort of the other half of it right yeah yeah I love that does anyone have any questions for Austin No? Okay, so let's continue on edit I want to hear why why this meditation center is important to you so I guess I'm seeing this particular project of ours uh, very differently, I, I think. So this to me, it's nothing like uh, a gym. Um, it was, um, especially to me, it was um, a place where I could find freedom, where I could um, ease on my suffering and um, I mean it was a very very special thing um, and I had the opportunity to go to Canada right uh, two times I spent uh, one time I spent one month and uh, the second time I spent three months there uh, which were um, I think the very propelling factors in my um, path. Mm. Uh, yeah, on my own, and in uh, I only maintain everything. So for me, I think I I, I feel a little bit more dramatic about this um, because uh, I find um, Bante Utadamo being a very very special teacher and um i and and the teaching and uh the type of meditation and the whole um structure of uh this type of co uh, courses uh are very unique um as, i mean there is uh, i don't think uh i mean i don't know for sure but there are not a lot of uh, Mahasi Sayada techniques out in the West, um, not in Thailand. Uh, so, and and what I, um, what I think it's uh, it's very very specific and uh, very helpful to really go through the stages of insight and and even even um, Bante is capable showing you the other side and if you if you can cross over and you, if you put in the effort and if you you know all the karmic uh, forces also allow you to do this um then uh, then i think it's uh, it's very possible that uh, you can even eventually uh, but very closely get free from samsara as well um i didn't i didn't know that that's what i was doing or that was that was what i was striving for when i was there um i was simply following instructions on meditation and uh, facing my deepest inner fears, inner, um, inner stuff, and um, just solving them, I guess, one by one. Not really solving, but seeing, right? 
Mm. Um, and I think it was very crucial, this place where uh, I was very, I was treated very, very um, fortunately because they give me a room which wasn't in the basement and um, so that I didn't have to go down, uh, down because I couldn't uh, walk the stairs. And uh, we had a steward who were basically giving us food and we didn't have to do anything. We did, I, didn't, I didn't have to uh, think about any chores, uh, maybe a little bit of cleaning or at least keep my room clean and uh, that's all. And, and it was very, very beneficial to be there in person. Why? Because um, not only you um, go to reporting, you have a 101 face-to-face -face, um, reporting session, which is very helpful. Not only that, Bante usually thought uh, and gave dhamma uh, in the evenings, oftentimes even uh, every every day, but uh, even just three times a week or um, how often he wanted. So those were very beneficial. So for this, this for me would would be very specific, very um, Buddhist type of, it, not, nothing related to, to a gym or even the comparison is uh, very hard for me to relate, sorry. Well, the comparison about the gym is that it's a place where people go to do something, which is train their body. And this meditation center is a place to go where people go and train their brain, their mind. And just like you go to a gym and you have a coach where you have to report um, and they review your workouts and your and they give you progressions and they give you guidance and they teach you. The meditation center offers the same thing with Bunte as a teacher and the person that you report to. to and, and he's the one who makes modifications and, and adjustments and progressions to your program uh, based on you know your level where you're at and I think that is the like it's are you kidding it's it's everything it's everything it 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 makes all the difference to have a good teacher I didn't know this I did not know this when I when I started meditating I, I learned from YouTube like everybody else and I didn't realize that you know Bunte was just living down the street from me and 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 going to the center and having my retreat um, and seeing him, it's completely different than trying to do it on your own without any guidance and a teacher. It's again, the same thing of someone who is maybe not in shape and wants to get in shape, but doesn't go to a gym and doesn't have a coach. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's like, well, how yeah. are they going to get fit? So the analogy, you know, I stand by in my analogy because in, in essence, because it's about training and getting coaching from somebody in an environment that is conducive to that practice. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying, Edit, and I really appreciate everything that you're saying. And I totally agree, having a place where you're free from doing the things that suck you back into the real the, to the worldly affairs when you're free from that you really have this sense of I can do this I can I can go deep I'm allowed you know I can allow myself and I I feel and you feel safe you you know you feel safe in the environment you feel safe that you have a teacher and support and if there's other meditators there, you have support of other meditators, not that you interact, but you know, just, just knowing that other people are doing, doing the same thing with you at the same time. 
that's uh, very special and I think very unique, right? Very unique. And um, yeah. I, I did not know that there was not a lot of meditation. I don't know anything about meditation centers. And so if you're telling me that there's not a lot in, you know, in this part of the world, then it's even more important than ever that the center be um, created and, you know, um, and shared with the world in this part of the world. So, yeah, mm -hmm. thank you, Edith. I, I hear, um, more often I hear that there are meditation centers, but they are teaching a different technique. Mm -hmm. And I also... Um, hear that um so it's nothing like this you know this is a, this is a very serious teacher um i would i would say very strict even and mm -hmm. um it's a it's not it's not like that in other meditation centers mm -hmm. the monks are not um probably not even uh, meditation teachers but right. just you know helping out with very minimal instructions to the lay people or uh, and and i mean this is this is the this is the, the whole package mm -hmm. you know what i mean and uh this is very rare even even uh even in the in a Goenka tradition, there is there is a limit that you can do there. And um, but if you have Bhante as your guide, you can get very, very far. And um, also also with the instructors, um, I feel like you cannot um, you know, uh, teach uh, people to be instructors, which is, I think, very crucial in, in our tradition to have proper teachers. Um, I mean, not to our tradition or for our sake, but to, in order to, do, um, to this technique to preserve. Uh, and, and that that can only be done if, if there is a meditation center and they can, can be trained mm -hmm. by listening to their reportings and um, like it's, mm. you, you cannot become a, a good teacher if, I, I don't think um, if, if you don't have the experience and you don't have the opportunity to uh, have the experience. Edit, you brought up such an, another amazing point. This meditation center is important because it's also a place to train other meditators to, be, to become instructors and to, and to continue to spread. And because you're right, we do need good teachers. And um, Bhante is an yeah. amazing teacher. And, and so... I, I would like to add something else as well. Like, um, we are... I mean, if you are very serious about your practice, you are going to think about this ending, Pante dying, for example. And if we are, we won't do anything. We just take what it's, what we've got from him and, um, just take it with us. I, I feel like that's very mm. selfish, not doing yeah. anything. And um, so, so basically um, what I'm trying to say is that um, not doing anything would be um, in my seeing um, ungratefulness, mm. you know? not doing a service to this uh, teacher, to this practice, to, to I, I found this teaching to be the purest um, practice. There is probably the fastest one to get there. And, and so, yeah. also from my experience, I think what was very, um, 
I found wonderful and very freeing was that it was totally financially non-discriminatory, which I meant, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that it's, it's free. Uh, anyone, whether they can mm -hmm. afford it or not afford it, I mean, there's no questions asked about, uh, you know, any strata of society, anyone who needs or would like to benefit from it can easily benefit from uh, such a training and, and, um, and uh, it's totally free. So that is a very freeing thing. And basically you can't pay money even if you want to. I mean, the place that I went to, for example, uh, the meals are free, the stay is free, the teaching is of course free. Uh, so it's, it's, you, you are totally, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, you will have to do a lot of work for sure, uh, because, you know, working with the mind is, is, a, is a lot of work, but you don't have to worry about any other resources from your side. Yes, that was very important to, uh, to mention, uh, Austin. I was, I fell into that category, definitely. I, I could not never could uh, have afford, been able to afford, you know, staying three months in Canada somewhere, you know, uh, getting food and also teaching. So I guess that's, that's the whole, whole package uh, mm -hmm. that you can receive as a, as a help. Yes, that's wonderful. Thank you, Edit. Oh, amazing. Great reasons. Kathy, I want to hear from you. Um, why is the Meditation Center important to you? What about it is important? Uh, I have to say, Edit and Austin, what you have just shared um, were really touching to me. Uh, maybe I um, share a little bit about my experience with meditation centers. Um, so I, um, I started uh, Vipassana meditation uh, at a Goan car meditation center near my house. Um, and it was such an eye-opening experience for me, uh, not having meditated before. Um, the environment was so um, helpful and beneficial and you, could, you were given all of the conditions needed to go deep into the practice. Um, and, um, but when I, when I came back home, um, I, I couldn't maintain the practice for a long time. Um, so, and I kind of missed the center. Um, <laughs> and whenever, whenever I had a chance, I would go back and, and continue the practice. Um, so to me, a meditation center is just like a refuge for the mind. Um, and living in such a messy, unwholesome world, it's really hard to keep the practice um, pure and um, progress any further. Mm. Um, so I think a meditation center is, is a must. <laughs> I, I would love to see it happening. Um, so after the Goenka um, um, practice, I, um, I couldn't keep up, um, as I just shared. Um, so I, I gave up for a little while. Um, and then another opportunity came up when I had a trip um, to Myanmar. Um, and that was when I found out about Mahasi um, tradition. So I went to um, the center there um, that um, um, teaches the um, the practice um, under Mahasi Sayadaw um, tradition, uh, and I stayed there for ten days as well. Um, again, I was reminded of how pure it is to just you know um, stay with the sangha and um, mm. have some guidance from from qualified teachers. Um, but at the time, you know, due to the language barrier, I didn't really benefit much. Um, so I practiced based on books uh, prior to coming to the center. And then I had interviews uh, with a teacher. Um, he was so well respected, but like I couldn't understand him. And we used an interpreter, but there were certain limitations. Um, but yeah, I, I, I 
tried to make the most of it. Um, and then I, when I came back, um, I started um, practicing and um, was more serious in my practice. And then I, um, so Bante, I didn't come to me by chance at all. I deliberately looked for a teacher who, um, who teaches um, Mahasi Saido um, tradition and um, who, who speaks English. <laughs> so um, <laughs> <laughs> I found Bante and I have to say that Bante is such a special teacher. Um, and I took um, the at-home course with him. Unfortunately, I signed up for the, um, the foundation course at the center, but because of the pandemic, I couldn't go at all. <laughs> um, but I have to say that his, his way of teaching is, is really unique and you get a lot, a lot out of his teaching. You can progress really, really, further with with um his way of teaching um and i yeah i would love to see a center um and i have oh sorry i forgot to mention my experience with um interviews with teachers as well uh and you're right i did um when i went to the going car um center uh everything was really was really good um everything was free as well um but the level of one-on-one -on -one, um, mm. it, um, interaction was not was not that um, great. As in, you go to um, the instructor when you have any questions, and if you don't really know what you're doing, then you don't have any questions to ask, and you may end up leaving the center with not much benefit at all. Mm. Um, and um, in, in um, the other center um, again because of and, and it wasn't that regular so I didn't have daily um, a report or interview with the teacher and the teacher didn't really know me like as an individual you know um, mm -hmm. they so we had to queue up for interviews and there were like a whole bunch of us like a, a lot of us um, 10 20 a day and I basically just told the teacher about what I did and then he gave me a bit of feedback and instruction but it wasn't to the level that that Bante um, can provide um, so to me having a meditation center under Bante's guidance um, has to happen <laughs> as you know like somehow because um, um, I really, I really want, he's not mine, but I really want to share him with everyone in the world and because he's just so special and his teaching is really, really unique. Um, and I believe that um, people can, can get enlightened um, if they really practice seriously under his guidance. Yeah, that's, that's my sharing. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. That's an amazing share. And I... Uh, it's so interesting to hear, you know, your perspective and your experience with other meditation centers, right? Because I don't have any experience with anything, <laughs> really. But um, does anyone have any questions for Kathy? I only have experience in, in the sense of, you know, I've heard many students already because um, I took the instru instructor course and I'm still listening in and I, I heard many students talk about their experience so that that's how I know sort of um, mm. but um, I, I did wanted to ask Kathy about um, probably uh, Myanmar has a very good uh, teachers and very good tr tradition and, and all but uh, I wanted to just I mean check with what you were saying that um, you basically couldn't understand the teacher or, and uh, even the centers didn't have then English speaking uh, or in good interpreters or something? Uh, yeah, at the time when I was there, it was like that. I can't speak on behalf of other people who might have been there in a better time. I don't know. Um, but the 
um, the center I went to, uh, probably you, you, you may know about that. It's quite a well-known center, um, um, Ubanditas uh, Center. Um, so they had like excellent teachers there, but um, the teachers are all Burmese and they, most of them don't speak English. Um, mm. So when I was there, there was, um, there was um, a, a monk who did the um, translation. Um, so I, I, I'm from Vietnam. Um, I speak both Vietnamese and English. And fortunately, the monk was um, a Vietnamese as well. And he was really good at English as well. So when I had him um, and, and interpret it, I wouldn't say interpreters, uh, but those who can help with interpreting, you know. Um, so some days I had him um, and he used Vietnamese. Some days when he was busy, there were other people um, who speak English and they, they translated English. So my, my experience was a little bit inconsistent. Right? And sometimes I feel like I can express myself more and um, explain about, about my progress uh, more effectively than other times. Um, yeah, hmm. so it there were um, some barriers Challenges. in that aspect. Yeah, yeah, I can see that being very challenging. I know for me, when it was the same thing when I was first got, getting into Buddhism, I didn't know should I go to a temple or do I go to you know a center? Like I didn't even know centers existed, right? So I went to a temple and I just kind of you know chanted along and just did whatever they were doing, and then an interpreter was there to interpret the you know the dhamma talk or whatever but i mean i didn't get any true value out of it because there was really no instruction and and there was no teaching and there was no you know and so it's like i was so i'm so grateful for have uh, found bante and the center because it's like now i'm actually getting some work done i'm actually doing something as opposed to you know kind of aimlessly just joining something without really understanding and so i think yeah definitely and, and you also have a sense where you're going, right? It's, it's not like um, you don't know where you are. You're in a, in a jungle. No, you are on a path in a jungle. You are going somewhere. You're, you have a chaperone who is watching over your path. Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, for me, the, I love everyone's reasons for why they think their, their meditation center is important. And I agree with every single one of you, but I also um, would like to share a few things that are important to me as well. And that is like, when I first found out about Bhante, I, I, you know, I didn't know anything about him. And then as I started being more involved as a volunteer and being more involved in the community, I was in completely amazed and impressed by how much um did, how many different projects there are going right now there's an audio book there's a book book there's 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 this something called the digital po poly reader that bunte essentially put together and that is a resource for monks all over the world i'm like what this is the real deal here like i i had no idea and so so edit you're, you're you know when you're talking about preser preserving this tradition and tr preserving the teachings and this method um it is of utmost importance absolutely and i think the word you're looking for it was stingy we don't want to be stingy about the teachings and the blessings that we got we want to be generous and we want to pay it for we want to share it with everybody and i think this is one of the reasons why we're doing these ceremonial stories is to share continue to share so i want to thank you all for joining me today in a wonderful discussion about this meditation center and why it's important what it can provide to people um, and creating a future for everyone to be, have that opportunity to come for free and to meditate um, whether it be intensive whether it be learning other um, learning through other means uh, building and connecting with community which for me has been really important as well 
and being a part of this community, I have, I've, I've been, people reaching out to me because of these videos, people are reaching out to me, private messaging me saying, oh, I saw your video, I saw your testimonial. Um, I, I really appreciate what you were saying. I really, I'd love to get to know you and talk to you, uh, you know, uh, I'm like, sure, you know, this is amazing. Uh, because, you know, as I dive deeper into this path, this journey, um, it's like my, friends and whatnot from from the past you know my, my previous lives are they they it's hard for them to sort of find a place on in you know in my life and so to to have to find people who are also on the path in this journey I feel is encouraging um and so having the center is going to help encourage other people to join to to really um you know take this path and take this uh, leap for themselves and benefit from being free from suffering and creating peace and lasting happiness um and continue to share it so yes i th i think uh, the best gift that we can give to any other student that comes to our way is this center absolutely absolutely well is there anything else anyone would like to add before we say our goodbyes no okay <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us today and we will see you next time on Siramangala stories bye for now bye thank you everyone